Oh, happiness is, I think. Happiness is the happiness secret. Yeah. Let's get happy. One of the things I have found that really helps me, mindfulness, which is being alone with my thoughts, that really helps calm me down and that calmness leads to happiness. Well, my kids make me happy every single day. Honestly, I think there's not a problem in the world that a hug from my kids can't fix. They've made me the happiest I've ever been. I really think it's an approach to life. Like my mom showed me how to laugh at everything. And I do that and it serves me very well. There's not much that people can throw at me that will genuinely affect my happiness because I can laugh at anything. I concentrate more on joy, which is something that is a constant in my life. Nothing, nothing can touch my joy, which comes from my faith in God. We're always in search of this, these elusive things, these ephemeral things like happiness. And I think sometimes it's right there. You just don't realize it. You know, you don't realize that you know, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy. It's interesting because my anxiety and happiness are closely correlated. They're just on opposite sort of paths. When I'm feeling a little bit anxious, I'm a little bit nervous, and I might do some breathing techniques. I might need to just kind of take five. Flip side of that, the way I'm hardwired is that when I'm listening to music or when I'm with my family or if I'm experiencing something like a great glass of wine or a meal or I'm in my flip-flops and the sun is shining on my face, those are highly, highly happy moments for me. I've found my happiness through one person, two names, Haley Joy. I feel like I've led a happy life, but I don't know I knew how high that high could go until Haley stepped into my heart and lives there. We all get the blues and we all get funky, but I sort of am a believer of the things in the forefront of your mind should be the good things. So in the mornings I try to do a little grateful journal and I'll write three things I'm grateful for. And then before I go to bed at night, I try to do the same kind of thing. To find happiness on a day-to-day -day basis, you, you look for the little things in life that bring you pleasure. A song you love, your dog sitting on your lap, in the kitchen making dinner and your kids are doing their homework. Look at those moments and really appreciate them. It is a stressful job, but it's stress in a good way. But you've got to know when to turn it off. So the happiness comes with having a great, tough, sometimes difficult day at the office. And then when I get home, to be able to turn it off, which this day and age is hard to do, but it's absolutely necessary to happiness. Most people, and there are some exceptions, but most people have at least one thing they can be happy about, whether it's their health, a job they love, a wife or a husband who usually loves them. When I have found myself kind of down, I think about those things that make me smile. I think about those things that make me happy. You get one life. They say this isn't a dress rehearsal. Do what makes you happy. You know, and little things like that, a haircut, running to go get your nails done, running to, you know what, having lunch with friends and you haven't talked to them in a while, little things like that. You'll leave with a little extra pep in your step. I wake up, the alarm goes off, and I just say, thank God I've got another day to get it right, and I just worry about today. And then by the end of the day, I hope I was the best husband, the best father, the best coworker, the best person in society that I could possibly be. Did I get it right? And then I put my head on my pillow, and I, I hope I get another opportunity to do that again the next day. So I, that helps me a lot, to just keep it in like a 24-hour period. Keep your eyes on the things that really matter, the profound things, your spirit, your faith, your family. That's it. That's happiness. I've tried to realize uh, the difference between people that sort of bring you life or suck your life away. My joy is non-negotiable. I do not allow the negativity in. And if somebody is a negative influence or sucks life and joy from me, I, I have to separate myself from them. Always make time for your kids because the thing that's true is that I've never regretted any moment I've spent with my family, but I have regretted times I've taken an assignment or gone to an event at night where I've missed something at home. So I think in the event of a tie, the tie goes to your family. You have to do what makes you happy. You have to live you and you have to do your own life. And you can't always compare yourself to other people because they're doing stuff that makes them happy. I believe in taking active steps to improve your happiness if you are realizing that you're feeling something other than, right? So. You have to get honest and you have to listen to that little voice in the back of your head, which is you telling you, change something, 
do something. When I'm feeling crummy, just like regular kind of crummy, the thing that always, always, always gets me out of my funk is when, and you don't even realize you're doing it, but when you help somebody else, your terrible situation isn't terrible because somebody else needs you. And crank up good music, because that is like paramount. Very few things are mood changers like that. Wine does it, I can assure you. And good music does it, just like that. You hear a song and your crummy day is all of a sudden like, oh my God, I'm dancing in the moonlight. Like, this is awesome. So I think keep a good playlist.